Hey guys, Sonia here again. I uh, hope you're all well. Um, today I wanted to talk about uh, um, mascaras, um, precisely the Anne Marie Borlin Precision and Care Mascara, which it looks like this. I hope you can see. And uh, this is, I show you the wand of this mascara. That's the, the wand, it's quite a thin, uh, long wand, which I like. I don't like those fat um, mascara wands, because I just get the mascara all over my lid uh, and it's not a nice look. So, and then we've got the Nui Berlin mascara, um, natural mascara, uh, that's the box and you know, this is how it looks, the packaging and the wand looks like this so with the with this one, the Nui Berlin, there are two shades uh, I've got Pango uh, which is the black, the dark, really dark black shade uh, it's very pigmented, it's very black, I like that and then they've got uh, a different a brown shade, uh, which I can't remember the name of. And uh, with the um, Borlin, the Emery Borlin Precision and Care Mascara, um, the, there is only the, the black shade in this line. Um, they don't have any brown, but they have a brown uh, mascara if you are interested. This is the Borlin Natural Mascara. Um, looking at naturismo.com website, which is where I got uh, the um, this one from, the Anne Marie Borlind Precision and Care Mascara. Um, so they they do have um, uh, a brown in this one. I hope you can see it. So they have a black and a brown shade here, but only the black one. Um, in the the one that I got and uh, the the wand uh, is quite different is um, a lot bigger than the precision and care mascara um, so it's kind of um, I paid for it 1750 uh, this retails at 1750 on naturismo.com uh, I don't know where where else you can get it. Uh, I think it's a German brand, so yeah, you know, if you are in the UK, naturismo.com uh, uh, is your best bet, I would say. Um, yeah, but you can do a search on uh, online and see where where else you can get it from. Um, so this mascara is um, is quite good. Um, in terms of uh, it really um, makes my eyelashes quite long doesn't give too much volume, just a tiny bit uh, but it's easy to apply with this wand, it's very easy to apply and um, um, it's kind of a more wet formula compared to the, the other mascara that I've just shown you the Nui uh, Berlin Natural Mascara um, so it's yeah, it's a wetter formula, but it dries it dries down, you know, fairly quickly. Uh, so you don't have to wait forever, you know, to dry it out. And um, it's kind of the only thing, the only downside of this mascara uh, is that it does flake. So I, I, you know, after a few hours, maybe after I don't know, like five, six hours, I I tend to see some bits of mascara, you know, some flakes uh, under my eyes um, which is not that great um, and um, yeah, other than that, and then if you, you know, if you touch your eyes uh, obviously it's gonna get even worse um, it lasts, um, so it lasts a few hours, I wouldn't say it lasts uh, all day um, because yeah, after a few hours it starts flaking um, the, the good thing is that it's easy to remove with just uh, warm water, so it's very easy to take off at night. Um, and the Nui uh, Berlin is, um, is a very different formula, it's much more dry formula, this one. Um, it's 
um, it's a bit like the packaging, I don't like the packaging. I mean, the wand would be quite good, again, you see, it, it just gathers in, uh, you know, at the, at the end of the, at the brush, it just gathers too much product in there. Um, so, I don't know, it's not, and then it kind of gathers up here as well, around. It's really not that great. Um, you know, I've only used it about four times now and uh, I find like it's, you know, it was a bit drier, the formula to start with. And then now that I've opened it uh, a few times, uh, I feel like it's even drier than the first time that I used it. So I don't think, um, mm, I don't think you can use it for a long time, like six months, um, it says here. Um, six months, um, you, you have to replace it after six months, but I don't think it would last uh, even three months, to be honest, <laughs> even half, uh, half of that, so, um, but anyway, um, so what it says uh, here for the new uh, mascara is very small printing, so um, I'll try my best, but uh, it says glides on easily and creates incredible volume and length for a clamp-free look and define uh, gorgeous lashes. Uh, purely natural, made with 85% uh, certified orga organic ingredients, is uh, vegan, cruelty free and gluten free. Um, so um, it says apply one or more coats to lashes using mascara wand. Um, I mean, yeah, you can do probably two coats, but I wouldn't say more than that uh, because um, it does um, tend to clump, uh, to be honest. So I wouldn't layer it too much. I would just do two coats and and call it a day. Um, with the Anne Marie Borland, uh, you you can kind of build it up a bit. Um, it's. Um, it's basically lasting for nine months, so a bit more uh, than uh, the Nui uh, Berlin. Um, it doesn't say here if it's um, if it's vegan or uh, cruelty free. I mean, I would suppose that. Uh, but let's see if if on naturismo.com uh, we can get more information. Um, so in terms of the sorry, uh, something that I didn't mention. The quantity, in case you are interested, you know, um, the Nui Berlin ma Natural Mascara has 7.5 ml and the Anne Marie Borland one has 10 ml, so a little bit more. Um, so the, the, the Borland retails at 17.50 and the Nui um, um, natural mascara retails on Glow Organic Brighton. .co .uk, where I bought it from. Um, it's discounted. Um, it was like nineteen pounds originally, and and you can get it at fourteen pounds, so a good five uh, pounds off. Um, that's why I bought it because it was on sale. I never tried it before, and uh, I wanted to try it out mainly for the the wand. I kind of like the the wand uh, and the fact that it's kind of um, small tube as well. So um, and that is you know cruelty free and vegan. That's why I was curious to to try that one out. Um, but yeah, let's see if uh, this one. Um, the Borlin says is just uh, saying specifically developed for sensitive eyes. Um, this natural mascara separates, defines, and conditions eyelashes without causing any irritation, and that's true. I, I never had any irritations uh, whilst wearing this mascara. Um, it's also suitable for contact lens wearers, which I am. Uh, I only wear glasses at night, but that's a different story. Um, so it says that the mascara is free of fragan fragrances and uh, preservatives uh, um, which together with the soothing effect of aloe vera and bisabolol makes it ideal for the sensitive eye area. This gentle formulation is also suitable for contact lens wearers. Um, 
So in terms of like, let's see the smell actually. Um, so this is the Nui. It has a subtle smell, nothing, nothing aggressive to be honest. Very kind of nice as well. Um, yeah, this one too. It doesn't smell of much to be honest. They, they have a tiny bit of scent, but it's nothing of, of offensive, like I said. Yeah, let's do a demo now. I'll show you how um, they compare. I'll do one eye with the um, Borlin mascara and the other one with the Nui uh, natural mascara. Okay, so let's do the Emery Borlin uh, Precision and Care mascara on the left hand side, so on here. I'm just uh, like uh, getting my mirror and trying to um, see what I'm doing. So I need to look around actually. Great, the other mascara is just falling. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is like one coat, and I'll leave it as that, I think. That's one coat of mascara, so one... This one has nothing, this one has the mascara, the Anne-Marie Borlind. So... So now we'll do the Nui uh, Berlin Natural Mascara on the right, on this eye. So. Again, sorry, I'm looking down because my mirror is down. I will show you the different uh, effect that was with mascaras. Sorry if you hear any background noise. I'm in a different location. Well, I actually got uh, creased, uh, creased up foundation in my eyelids. Oh dear. Sorry about that, I didn't notice. So I didn't clean up my eyes. I'll do that now. Just, um, yeah, kind of not coming off very well because I put powder on top of it. So anyway, so so this is the Nui Berlin Natural Mascara, and this is the Anne Marie Borlin Precision and Care Mascara. So which one do you think um, do you like the most? Um, to me, um, I think definitely the Anne-Marie Borlind is more uh, like defines more rather than more volumizing and the um, the other one is definitely more volumizing um, than anything else. So it depends, you know, it's up to you, um, it's up to you really which one, uh, which one you prefer. Um, in terms of the packaging, I prefer the Anne-Marie Borland uh, a lot better because it's, um, as I said, uh, it's mess-free. It's not as messy as this one where the product gathers in that, uh, you know, at the bottom of the, um, of the applicator. Um, also the fact that I like because it's square, so when you put it on a surface, it doesn't roll off. Uh, it doesn't roll off like this one does. You see that one fell because it has a rounded shape so it just fell off the the table <laughs> so um, yeah it's up to you but I'm to be honest uh, I don't like any of them uh, you know because of the reasons that I said uh, the Borlin one just flakes uh, way too much for me um, and the the new um, the new uh, just it is nice in terms of it lasts all day it doesn't flake doesn't smudge uh, doesn't do anything like that but um, you know the formula is is drying out a bit too too fast in terms of you know so you won't get much use out of this mascara i think that's my fear you know because i only used it like uh, four or five times now with this time and uh, um also, I don't fact the I don't like the fact that um, it's um, you know the the product uh, governs up. Uh, um, it's not a good applicator, I think. Uh, um, I mean, it's not a good bottle. The the tube, I think, um, something wrong with it. 
so if this one would have been in the Borland um, packaging, um, you know, it would have been kind of a winner for me. But yeah, I, d I don't have a winner here, so the search, the hunt for the perfect mascara um, carries on, really. I will have to try um, more new vegan and cruelty-free mascara. Um, so if you like this video, um, or it was, um, you know, any useful to you to learn about these products, uh, um, give me a thumbs up. And uh, also, if you have any questions, something that I haven't covered uh, about uh, these two mascaras that you'd like to know, uh, please give, leave me a comment down below. And um, I hope you subscribe. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you soon in my next video. Thanks. Bye.